the devastating reality of the fires and what victims are dealing with is still hard to accept. Many have lost loved ones, homes and livelihoods. And tonight we hear from victims who survived the fires but have nothing left on the island. Yeah, KTLA 5's John Finola live in West Hollywood now. He's got more on some of those stories. John? Kareen Rick, that's right. So many wildfire survivors in Maui are in desperate need right now. This bar behind me, the Naughty Pig here in West Hollywood, well, they're accepting donations and other emergency supplies. Now, the owner of this bar also owns an establishment in Lahaina. Sadly, it was gutted by flames earlier this week, along with thousands of other homes and businesses. Residents in Maui say they need all the help they can get. Under a clear blue sky, Maui is still smoldering. There's no amount of help that's too much right now. Residents still reeling. I mean, there is not a, a, a building standing. It is, it's a war zone. It looked like we've been napalmed. Matt Robb was one of the lucky ones. He survived. His home is still standing, but his business is gone. People that are with me lost everything. Um, out of the 20, I think 27, 26 team members we have, um, just in the front of the house of the monkey, about half of those, a little over half, lost everything and had a matter of minutes to get out of their house, so they just have the clothes on their back. He's the owner of The Dirty Monkey, a bar and restaurant located in historic Lahaina on Maui's west coast. Eight of his employees are now staying at his home after last week's catastrophic wildfires incinerated most of the town. Uh, two of my um, employees had to jump into the seawall. Um, others had to run as fast as they could out of town and every which way. Some had to jump fences in neighborhoods to get out. It was just the amount of winds were blowing. The flames were jumping 50 to 100 feet per time. So imagine that if you have one house that catches on fire and then you have four houses that catch it on fire. These people were in those homes. You know, they're, they're, they're finding remains every day. Similar stories of survival and what has become the deadliest U.S. wildfire in over 100 years. Two or 300 people were all jumping the seawall with their children. Cars are exploding. You know, the cars are catching on fire. It's dark. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It was like midnight. But in their darkest hour, this tight-knit community has each other. We're all alive and safe and counted for. It's like we're the only things we have now because the reason that we had in the past is gone. However, they say help can't come fast enough. Everywhere that people can help and send things that you wouldn't think of or donate, that's what, what people we need right now. We're in an island and, and people are begging for help and it's, it's just not there. Your heart just goes out to these wildfire victims. If you'd like to help some of these folks, we've posted a GoFundMe link under this story on our website, ktla.com. You can also donate to the Maui Brewing Company. Their information also on our website. And finally, here at the Naughty Pig on Sunset Boulevard, well, they are accepting donations and emergency supplies. You can drop them off here at the bar. Uh, the bar is also hosting a fundraiser on Thursday, August 17th, starting at 5 p.m. Every little bit helps. In West Hollywood, I'm John Finolio. KTLA 5 News. All right, John, thank you so much.